everyone. How are you? Monica Shimoni here with Moms Unshackled. Our topic today is all about dwelling and how dwelling is actually really painful and, and harmful. It's, it's, it's harmful to our bodies. Dwelling in PTSD and ongoing prolonged suffering will cause damage to aspects of the brain. I believe it's like the amygdala. You know, dwelling eventually leads, can lead to PTSD. I have seen the trauma in the court system. I have seen the trauma in the hallways. If some of you have friends that are also in this system, if you've been around them, you can tell when someone has been severely traumatized by the way they talk, if they're very hypersensitive and easily confused. So they need uh, ADA advocacy in the courts because it's the, the system is so stacked against them and they've been um, getting chewed up and spit out for a very long time. So you don't want to be someone, though, who has PTSD and is just getting by. And even if you do have PTSD, you want to learn how to, how to allow that just to accompany you in your life. Be something that you carry with you, but not something that engulfs you and takes over you. So one of the ways to prevent PTSD and the damage that it causes to the, to the amygdala and the prefrontal cortex is to get the pain to move through you, whether it's journaling or running or training for events you know live your life from your heart and standing up for yourself in court from your heart and taking a stand for your own self-worth because you're worthy of being treated like a human being and in order to get there in the family court you have to be you're going to want to be a little bit rebellious and what i mean by that is is not playing the game that you've been taught where all you do is just agree with everything and somehow that is supposed to get you what you want no <laughs> if, if all it took was for a judge to like us and a gal to like us if all it took was for us to just be on our best behavior and dress nice and just be calm and polite then we would all have our kids you know this is not legal advice but when people say well just make sure you do this and that because that's how you get the judge to like you make sure you keep the same job for six years make sure you don't date you know make sure you do this make sure you do that make sure you twist your life into a pretzel and live outside of who you really are to make the judge happy all of us know how to live like june cleaver we all know how to do that if all that took if all it took was for us to be like june cleaver and be perfect and buttoned up and proper and and just behave ourselves and do whatever the government wants then we would all have our kids back by now so we we, we know that doesn't work so that what you have to do is you have to honor your place in the world you have to honor your rights as a citizen. You have to honor your, your humanity. And you have to activate the activist. And that's what I teach you. And that actually helps you move that pain as well. So I offer mentorship at the internal level. Okay, I, I teach you your, <laughs> teach you how to keep bugs out of your face. I teach you the mindset you need. Um, I help you know your rights. I help you develop potent self-care rituals to manage the anxiety and depression that has already you know, been manifesting for a period of time. And it's funny, like when you're done working with me, you're not gonna care anymore what your ex is doing. What? How is that possible? <laughs> you're not gonna care what your ex is doing, I promise. I know that sounds like completely crazy. Like how could you not care what your ex is doing? Well, trust me, it is possible. It takes rewiring, it takes coaching, it takes mentorship, it takes commitment, it takes you showing up, saying yes to yourself. It's like you could say, hey, I don't really want this anymore. I don't want to waste a Friday night fighting with my ex through email and just sending email after email after email and oh my god I I'm so glad I'm not doing that anymore <laughs> you deserve a Friday night where you could just kick back with a beer and watch TV after a long week right so letting go of the ex stuff that drama is usually the hardest aspect of the training that I help you with but it really brings in the most results so you need to hold yourself to a high standard and be powerful and mindful with this because you are in control you hold the cards to your own life and you can be wildly effective and you don't have to be a victim anymore you don't have to live just being being reactive to the bad stuff that's happening you don't have to live like that there's there is another way so i'm going to be ending here but i do want to hear from you i want to find out how this family court mess has been in your life and I want to encourage all of you to get outdoors today, even if it's for five minutes, just go barefoot, plant your feet on the ground and just soak up the healing properties of the earth. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your week, okay? Have a good one, bye-bye.